dashing through the snow when I want to hustle up and say all the feels we go laughing all the way I don't know what I'm doing next da 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 <laughs> okay okay mum and dad just got home oh and Nelson the cat just got home as well three minutes oh my gosh my memory card's full why are you full memory card? I don't have time for this. I'm gonna have to stop this here. Hey guys, and today I have the Zoella Christmas range video. I haven't done this and it's about time I did this video. It feels so long. I bought these such a long time ago and I just never got round to doing it. I don't know why, but this is me doing it now. First of all, Zoella added a few extra things to her original range. I wasn't too keen on most of the products. There was a hand sanitizer, which I didn't feel like it was worth the money. Then there was a, like, a scoop -a doop I don't know, like scoop a dupe thing of like the shower gel in but in a tub or a bath soak. You know, it was just it just it was just in a tub form and I just thought like what's the point? I already have or I still have a soap opera and I absolutely love that. And then what else was that? There? there was the new scrub. I do think I will get the scrub eventually, but I am fully stocked up on the Tutti Fruity range because I absolutely love that range. So the first product that I bought from her original scent but part of the new added bit, like added range to the original scent or, or original range, if that makes any sense was this, the Zoella Wondrous Whip I was talking to Scarlett about um, body butter and the Zoella should release one she did release one last year in her Christmas range in the big drawers you know, the awesome drawsome um, set but I didn't buy that and I never got it so I was just hoping that she would bring one out eventually and she has done and when she did that was the first thing that I really wanted to pick up from her extra part of the original range. This is called Wondrous Whip and it says lightly whipped body cream creme um, and then it has it in a different language which I can't read. The lid is a very good lid by the way. This the seal is super duper. It doesn't break and it doesn't you know it peels off very nicely. I'm gonna just basically take a bit off this lid because there is a lot. I'm going to put this on my hand and see how it is. First impressions? Hmm it feels a little bit like the um, hand cream and the body cream. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker but then again maybe it's a good thing it's not. It yeah it feels exactly like the hand cream which I'm a little disappointed and the scent is just amazing, it's just beautiful. I used to hate this scent, but I absolutely have come to love it. Now, it just feels exactly the same as the hand cream, I feel, or at least the body cream. It might be even softer, because it's a body cream. But it's nice that you've got something that you can just whip on straight after you've just come out of the bath. Not whip on, do you like my little... <laughs> I don't... that wasn't intentional. Whereas the body cream and the hand cream, you can put them on when you're not in the bath or when you're not coming out of the bath, if that makes sense, you can put it on before you go out for the day um, and just to smell amazing. Since we were just talking about cream, let's move on to the gingerbread hand cream. Oh my gosh. So this one is called Hungry Hands and oh my goodness, when I heard that she was going to be releasing a gingerbread scented hand cream, I had to get it. So first impressions of this packaging is that I absolutely love it. I really do like the idea of this brown and red contrast, especially because the scent is gingerbread. It's gorgeous, it's so pretty. I love the fact that she's kept the copper rose gold uh, contrast and I love the fact that it's burgundy rather than a bright red. I love the, the candy cane trim around the label. It's beautiful and it says show your hands some love with this heavenly scented super moisturizing gingerbread and warm vanilla hand cream enriched with nourishing shea butter vitamin e and a pinch of ginger and a dash of vanilla to leave hands feeling silky smooth and soft to the touch since i've just put the wondrous whip on my hands this is going to be a very odd concoction of gingerbread and the original scent what is the original scent? I can't remember. Oh, I love the hand creams. I do love the hand creams, I do! Okay. Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. It's not even that close to my face. 
<clears throat> I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. It has like a cinnamon, cinnamon like spicy scent to it as well, which is what I, I love. It. I really want to go bake some gingerbread now and just eat them and keep them all to myself. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move on to these. Now I wasn't going to get these, but then I thought about it. They're only out for Christmas. They smell of gingerbread slash cinnamon slash vanilla. Um, why would you not want your bath smelling of that, Saint Katie? Are you insane? So I picked these up for myself and for my sister. I've also picked up one of each item I have for my sister as well for when she gets back. As I said, I'm making her a welcome home hamper and I cannot wait to wrap them all and just sitting and staring at her while she's opening all of her presents. I, I really love the idea of this. The fact that they're all gingerbread and the fact that it actually says snap, fizz and relax. I think that's so good. And I love the little trim of the ribbon on top. It's, I am so going to be using these over the coming weeks up until Christmas when I have my baths. Oh, come on. I should really open these things before the video. Look, he's a little gingerbread guy. And it says the do not eat sticker on the back, just so that just so that people are aware not to eat it. I absolutely love the look of this. And the fact that you can just snap him in half. I really love the fact that you can just snap him right down the middle, because that's where I would have snapped him anyway. But it makes it a lot easier for when you try and break it. I love it. I cannot wait to use. And there's enough in here for six days. So six days running up until Christmas while I'm having a bath. That is what I'll use. Next we have these beauties. Now this was the first thing I actually bought. The whole range was released online early and these and I think one other item were the only two things that were in stock at the time and I just have to get them. They were in stock, why not? I don't think there's any special name to them. It's just the lip balm duo. I think the only downfall to these that or my little niggly bit that I'm not so happy about is the fact that this is the vanilla one and this is the gingerbread one. Now last year in the lip duo that Zoella released at Christmas, the red one was actually the vanilla one and the green one was the, the new scent, like the, it was mint, so it was like the new scent. And mum is walking into my room. Hello? What? I was going to ask you. Oh, tell me. No. Oh, you remembered? Do you want Dad to get you some dinner? Oh, why are you coming down for thingy in 20 minutes? Yes. Is he... What do you mean going? Where's he going? Well, where do you want him to go? Tesco. Tesco. Yes, you want him to go to Tesco. Okay. Unless he wants to order something. Unless he wants to order something. No, he goes to Tesco tomorrow. Which Tesco are you going? Oh. Which Tesco are you going? I can go to the big one tomorrow. Sure? Okay then. Did you get my text? Yeah. Okay. What pizza do you want? Chicago Town, the big one, the cheese one. Cheese one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last year, Zoella's lip balm duo had a very unique coordination to it. So the vanilla one, this colour, it was red, and then the mint, the mint one was green. So I thought when I got these ones, I thought, okay, this one's going to be the vanilla and this one's going to be gingerbread. Little did I know, <laughs> until I opened them and smelt them, that it's actually the opposite way around. So this one is the vanilla scented lip balm and this one is the gingerbread. Now, because I have both sets, it's going to be confusing when I use the red one, in my opinion, because I use the other red one quite a bit. But... I don't know, it just annoys me. Apart from that, there's two things that I really love about these lip balms. It is when I can open it. I do find last year's were easier to open um, because you had that ridge around the edge that enabled your nails to get under it and open it. I can't open it, okay, there we go. Um, I do love the heart design though, it's a clever idea. But I think it would have been cool if it was like a gingerbread shape, like a little gingerbread shape. Maybe, or a gingerbread smiley face, you know, like a face, and the other one had like, you know, had a little bow tie, and then the other one, I don't know. What I do love about the vanilla one is that it's not tinted, because that was kind of the annoying thing I had with the vanilla one last year. I did like the shade, but 
with a lip balm I kind of like it to protect my lips so gingerbread one is a kind of nude shade with a bit of shimmer running through it and smells just as good as the hand cream and smells as good enough to eat can I eat you please last and not least I have bought myself and my sister this baby this was the number one priority on my list to get from Zoella's Christmas range. I really, really love the design of the box. Again, it matches the gingerbread hand cream and I just want to get into it and smell it. Ah! I don't know how long I've been waiting to open this. Like, it could have been Christmas before I did this video. So, gingerbread body cream. It's called ginger cream. It's just ginger and straight to the point. Like, exactly what it is. Mm. I should have put the lid on before rubbing it in. What a plonker. Okie dokie. Mmm, this smells like a lot more ginger than the hand cream does. Like it smells a it smells a lot more gingery than the hand cream. Like I think it smells sweeter. More sugar in it. It definitely smells sweeter. It smells really nice. It smells like fresh cookies. Fresh gingerbread men. Mmm. I love that. That was the ginger cream. Now on to the perfume or the mist. There we go. The mist. Got there on the end. This one's called Bake My Day and it says a super indulgent warming gingerbread and vanilla scent with top notes of cinnamon and chocolate. It's delicious. It has cinnamon in it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> mm, that smells so good. That smells even better than the hand cream and the body cream. Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna smell of this all Christmas. Oh, yes. I love how full this is, because I swear the older scents weren't always as full when you got them. This is like to the brim. And I love how it's a gold lid. And I love the little gingerbread on the back. It's so cute. It just oh, it smells amazing. So I probably, most likely, will be picking up all of these again. Unless someone gets me them for Christmas. So, you know, if you want to buy me anything for Christmas, they smell amazing. I normally only buy things that I know I'm going to like. So, yes. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye! Do you want to see what's behind me? Because I feel like I need to show you. I feel like I need to show you. Let's show you. It's me and my pyjamas. So what I have are these new fairy lights. Really love them. And then this little guy, reindeer, I bought last year, and you might recognise that from my Christmas videos last year. Then I have my cinnamon, sparkling cinnamon candle. That was bought for me for Christmas last year from my dad. Oh, I love it, and I still have only burnt it a little bit. I want to continue burning it. Then this is the diffuser I got from my sister last year, and that's the one that they've redone in next, but they ha it's not the same design. This one's last year's design, if you know if, you know, if you've been in next, you'll know that. And then over here, I have my star bowl. I told you I was going to put that pure, pure stuff. Pure, I don't know how to say it, guys. Literally, I'm so bad. Down here, we have the gingerbread Zoella candle. Look how cute it is. I put a ribbon around it, which is from um, this Noel set that someone gave to me last year. So it's N-O-E-L. A friend gave to me that last year because they knew I was looking for one. Um, and they gave me that for my birthday. So not last year, the beginning of this year. And the ribbon that these were tied around, or tied in, I put around Zoella's candle, which I thought looked really cute. Then in the middle, I just love the fact that it's of, it's like a little Christmas tree with a star on the top. And then you have, you have Joseph and Mary, and then baby Jesus in the in the middle, in, our, in Mary's arms. I just think it's so cute. And exactly what Christmas is all about. And then I have the red tea light um, or votive holder 
with a sparkling cinnamon candle inside and I absolutely love that scent as you guys know I love cinnamon so that is my decoration Christmas decoration um, backdrop anyway that is it guys and I am really out of focus let's just focus me <laughs> I hope you enjoy these videos because I really do like making them um, oh. There's a lot of exciting things to come in the new year, especially, but I'm a buzzy girl, so we're going to have to see. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.